Hi, I'm Jennifer and I'm quitting plastic. When I first decided to go plastic free, I wanted to start in my kitchen since that's the greatest source of plastic waste. I still have a lot of plastic in my home that I'm not quite sure what to do with. I don't wanna just throw it in a landfill, so I'm saving it, but I won't be using things like this for food anymore. I'm giving up purchasing things in plastic, purchasing them fresh from grocery stores, the farmer's market, or even directly from the farm, and freezing them in mason jars. This is working out great. It's a lot more organized than I thought it would be, so I wanna show you my freezer. Here's my freezer. On one side, are the mason jars. And on the other side, I have everything stored in plastic. This plastic is left over from four months ago before I went plastic free. And it's difficult to find the things that I need. On this side, I have things that are leftovers that I have created lunch boxes for, and I can easily mark the lids. In 2008, the EPA published a paper saying to avoid BPA, PVC, and polystyrene. In addition to being environmentally friendly, going plastic free in my kitchen is also about health. If you're not sure what type of plastic your food is coming in, you'll see on the bottom of any type of plastic bottle a number. This one is number one. Number one is deemed safe for food by the EPA. However, it took them 60 years to determine that three, six, and seven weren't safe. I don't want to wait another 10 years and find out that they have discovered some connection between a different type of plastic and health problems. Some of the health problems that the EPA has discovered that the dangerous plastics cause are infertility and hormonal changes, which can lead to behavioral changes. Glass is inert. There are no chemicals that will leach into your food. It's also very inexpensive and you don't have to constantly be purchasing products that you will end up throwing into the trash. Freezing is simple, but there is a process if you don't want your food to stick in one clump in that glass jar. Take a baking sheet, lay a clean towel on top of it, and then place your food on top of that towel in a single layer. Put it in your freezer, let it freeze individually, then put it into the container. Once you do that, you'll notice that things freeze separately. So it's just single berries or beans or whatever. You don't have to worry about them sticking together. One of my friends expressed concern about freezing in glass and the glass breaking in the freezer. If I freeze liquid, I leave about an inch at the top so that that liquid can expand when it freezes. I have not had any glass containers in four months break. I purchased all of my mason jars off Craigslist. I first went to the store and discovered that they're about a dollar a piece, which is very inexpensive, but they did come in plastic. Mason does sell jars that are not in plastic, but that wasn't available at my local store. So I just got on Craigslist. I found a lady who stopped canning and she literally had hundreds of bottles, which I purchased for next to nothing. Mason jars are great for freezing, but they're not for everything. For leftovers that would be good for a single serve dinner or lunch, I am freezing in these vintage Corningware containers. I got these all at a thrift store. Before going plastic free, I was not a huge thrift store shopper but I wanted to avoid purchasing things in the store that would come in packaging. So this was a great alternative for me. Every single thrift store that I went to in one day had one of these. So they're extremely popular. I think that you can find them just about anywhere in the country. To keep the glass lid on, I'm using rubber bands. These rubber bands come on produce, so I just always save those. And it's super handy, it keeps the lid on tight. And I can take this to the office and pop it in the toaster oven for lunch or for a single serve dinner, I can pop it in my toaster oven at home. Of course, this is safe for the regular oven and it's also safe for microwave if you wanna heat in the microwave. I hope you've enjoyed this post on how to freeze without plastic. And if you have any questions, leave a comment or visit my blog, quittingplastic.com for all sorts of tips and encouraging news on quitting plastic.